he certainly got their attention. Sure, we want to do this. Gosh, a twinkly bastard, you know. Yeah, tell him all about it. Mafu <laughs> I told you, didn't I? Let's do it, Limey. What a nice relation you have here, boy. All right, guys. <laughs> I know this is not Heart of Iron Four. I know. Um, the reason of why I'm recording this is because first I'm really waiting for the new DLC of Heart of Iron Four, uh, Awakening of the Tiger, I, I, Awakening the Tiger, or something like that. I mean, it's the one about China and Japan, Eastern Asia, and blah blah blah. And so, you know, I stumbled across uh, four uh, CD-ROM CD games. I was tidying up my room and in Germany here, I mean. And I don't know when I brought these games from Italy, and so I said, why not? So, first of all, I just looked on, on YouTube, and I was surprised to see that nobody, I mean, really nobody ever uploaded anything about these really old games. Now we are in 2018, and I think this game was released in 2002, I don't know, but it's really freaking old. Of course, I had to install some cracks and other stuff to make the game running on Windows 10. And, I mean, guys, this game is so old and that, I don't know. So, one thing I tried. I tried Africa Corps, D-Day, the sequel of D-Day, Battle of the Bulge, and the sequel of Battle of the Bulge, Moscow to Berlin. And Africa Corps was the only one which really crashed a lot of times. My idea was, you know, just to play the games in the easiest mode and show you guys the, um, the, the missions. But I think I will not do that with Africa Corps. I, th I think I will just maybe summarize very quickly some of the most interesting missions of this game and I like the idea of having the story mode so play the two campaigns in succession together with two story missions only available in this mode and I mean I don't know what to say I, I never 
played this kind of games. These are, these, I think the, these are called the RTS, Real Tactical Strategy, I, I don't know. And I mean, I'm not very fan of that. I prefer more you this the real-time strategy games in which you have the control of your country, you produce your stuff and like in Nazi Fire. Because here the main feature of this game is that you have a pre-selected amount of units and you have to win the mission with those units basically. It's a bit like a code name Panzer 2 and 1 but there was a bit different because <coughs> in some missions I think you could train infantry and tanks or maybe it was only in multiplayer I don't I don't remember uh, nevertheless let's start with the first mission and see what will happen I played this game years ago but I don't remember almost anything any news about the teammates nothing good I'm afraid bloody waste of talent but we are still here and still opponents the way it used to be at least we are not enemies enough of this we are at war the Bosch is a prisoner and nobody asked you Marius consider yourself lucky for having had access to everything we needed to escape the fort and for dating a girl who knows how to fly a goddamn airplane lovely French try anything and you'll end up shot Oh fucking French. He's just a German. Not bloody Germany for God's sake. He can be Uncle Adolf's favorite general for all I care. We agreed on considering this cockpit Swiss territory, right? <laughs> no, 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 left, left, hard left, you idiot before we Oh, boom, baby. You alright? Still kicking, boss. Takes more than a crap firecracker to get me. That wasn't a German landmine. If it had been, we wouldn't be here discussing the matter. He's right, Sergeant. Judging from the bang, it was one of our light AFE pom-poms. We lost a truckload to the rifts two weeks ago. These rifts, are they bad news? The worst. Desert bandits. Reckless, hateful, and ignorant of anything. Including their own lives. We're in for a walk, gentlemen. Let's gear up and move out. All right. So yeah, th this is a bit like code name Panzers. Two, you have your heroes. If the heroes die, the the mission is failed basically. The funny thing of these games is that you can speed things up up to eight times. Yeah. Angriff, get down. No, no, the airfield is very close. We have to okay. Get there Okay, yeah, we can skip the cutscenes, nobody will look at them. So, yeah, basically, more or less is the same mechanic. Heroes, units, you have credits to spend to buy new units and stuff like that. But, yeah, up to eight fold of time speed increase if you can get. Okay. Yeah, I mean it's kind of weird to see units with the firing range and so the 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 range is the dotted line and the full line I think is the visual range. Yeah, it's the visual range. Yeah, I mean it's I'm not used to that. I used to play these games many years ago, but uh, I think I'm really getting old now. <laughs> play these kind of games. Okay. It's about time, boys. Oh, the now women. Readers, wait till I get back with the Marines. Fire it up, Sherry. We are leaving. No, there's too many of you. The plane won't take five. Don't worry, Fräulein. I'll stay and cover you with ground fire. Go now. We can't leave the fault. Oh fucking French, I hate this guy. Oh my goodness. So ah, reinforcements have arrived. 
half one less amount in the, in the German beer. Okay, so let's wipe out this buggers. Okay, and then we can retreat. You see that that's how it works. I mean, yeah, enemy losses, own losses, own remaining <coughs> objectives, and blah blah blah. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. So I don't want to read, and I guess this is already the first mission. Yeah. Okay. So guys, let me know if you would like to watch this alternate gameplays until I will start recording Answer Farm 4 again. So I will. I promise I will do my best to record something in April because. Yeah, the patch will be re re released in March, but in March I'm really busy with the PhD, so I, I hope I will manage to keep up. No, I will do my best, as I said, to, to upload anything in April, and I hope that the Black Eyes guys will do a nice update of, the, of their mod, because I'm really looking forward to do a full campaign with Germany or any other country in Black Eyes of Alpha 4. So, guys, again. Thanks for watching and I hope you will enjoy that.